There's a leak in the ceiling. I'm on my way to buy into the $15,000 buying event. There's the money. There it is. I don't know if this is a good sign or a bad sign. I guess we'll see. Welcome to the WPT Monster Tournament of Champions. Thank you for all being here tonight. Give yourselves a round of applause just for being here. Um, we're all incredibly proud, all of us at the WPT are. And I think that I can speak for the Pope community as a whole to say how happy we were to see you in that and how deserving you were as an ambassador and someone who has endeared our game around the world. So congratulations. Before we, before we officially welcome you into the Champions Club, we have a little video to uh, remember your journey to the Champions Club. I'm just going to be showing all my draw outs here. It would be a great, it was all like your bust out walkouts. <laughs> I became a professional poker player back in 1976 and for 25 years played poker for a living. The big one of one shooting star. Oh, come on, Mike. You gotta be luckier. <laughs> like you guys, I'm used to it. <laughs> That's how you lost? That's the only time the mouse ever been quiet. Wow. <laughs> okay, the is out. Don't worry about it. I made up more than Montreal. Don't worry. Why are you mad at that? You got a husband in this. Yeah. Having a great time. Yeah. Next to Tonga, folks, you're circling the drain. Can he come back? Let's stand here. Like this time with a chat. Really use, use this guy as our stand. <laughs> So Mike has to move that. Uh, Mike has Jack 9 versus A something. 53,000 to 4,000 euros. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Chip leader! Talk about did he did he lift or did it uh, looks like Emma's gonna be shoved all in right into the trap. Like Why this hand with the seven high and wins <laughs> King Jack to Queens Ooh. and this is heads up Eddie oh, oh, look gives it the yes Queen <laughs> oh, 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 Gut shot poker tour Ted Sexton oh, 15 years competing <laughs> <laughs> the game four card away. I think he's got the title. You wanted a ten? <laughs> no, I was I was kidding. Let the record be <laughs> Mr. Sexton, unbelievable. I can't believe it. There he is. Come up here, Mike. Where'd you go, Tony? Oh, Jake, it's okay. We have a few, uh, a few things for you to commemorate your entry. Here's a picture of yourself you can look at. such an honor for me to join you guys in the Champions Club because of how tough it is to make a living playing poker. <laughs> That's an art table. Especially tough playing tournament poker for a living. And I truly believe in all my heart that there is no sport in the world that takes more mental toughness than it does to play tournament poker for a living. I mean, all of us out here know you can go week after week, you can play perfect poker, you get your money over the best hand, you get out drawn and you're busted and you go to the next event. And it's tough to deal with. And for you guys to come back over and over and, and face that kind of adversity, you know, it's tough. But as we all know, since we're all champions now, you know, the one win just makes that for all those bad beats and all that torture put together, and it does make it worthwhile. But 
Uh, Vince and I are well aware how tough it is to make a living playing poker. Nobody appreciates you guys more than I do, and we do, and the World Poker Tour does. So uh, certainly we want to uh, just congratulate you all again for being here. I'm probably the most excited guy to play the Tournament of Champions tomorrow because the Tournament of Champions has a very special meaning to you. Most of you guys are too young to realize I created the Tournament of Champions back in the 90s. It was a very, very, really cool event, the best event ever in poker, in my opinion. But, uh, so I created that event, ran it for three years, and never made money, but it led me to my job with Party Poker and the World Poker Tour, so it was good for me. But uh, uh, it was a great event, and then I got fortunate and won the World Series of Poker Tournament of Champions at a million dollars back in 2006. So now I get a shot at the trifecta here for who knows how many more years, but I'm excited and I love the idea that you have to earn your way in this tournament to get in. It's just fantastic. And Tony Dunst, he said, is our WPT champion before me, of course. He has the distinction, incidentally, of winning the smallest event ever. <laughs> 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 Get there. I said I was the most excited guy. I might not be. Ryan Reese might be because he just got in today. He is the sixth world champion of poker to win a WPT yes. title. Well done. And I also want to take a moment to thank everybody at the World Poker Tour. All the ones in the background that you guys don't see. I mean, you know some of them at these parties. That take all the time, the effort, and what it takes to put an event like this on together. When you see the room tomorrow, how cool it's going to be, what they've done to arrange all this, our sponsors, you know, special thanks uh, to certainly Monster, our title sponsor, as well as Hublot, Audi, Club WPT, Maui Gym, everybody that's contributed uh, to this event and the World Poker Tour sponsorship. You know, the added prize money, the car, all these things and the perks you're going to get before you play tomorrow. It's just fantastic to see, you know, how they're going out of their way to make you guys feel special. And even in my room, like all you guys should have got, at least those that qualified this year, I don't know how many got it, it was all the champions that didn't come you. Everybody got a bottle of champagne sent to your room. That was a touch of class. Man. Very special, I didn't know it was coming. It showed up. I just taken some bad beats, so I was glad it got there so I could drink my way out of my sorrow. <laughs> uh, but seriously, special thanks to the, bad the beats. World Poker Tour. King, Ange, everybody, the staff. David Gitter, where are you? And Warren. Sponsorship deal that we get, and uh, I think you're all going to be very pleased tomorrow. And I know you're going to please because you're going to get one of my books. So if you haven't read that, you're going to really like it. And we appreciate that. And Vince Van Patten, my man, right here. I wish you all been there last night. We had a roast for Vince last night, and we got it pretty good. But he got us back even better, really, when it was all over. But that was such a fun time. We're ending our 15th season now on the World Poker Tour. Now, there's not many shows that have been on television for 15 years. And certainly, Adam brought up last night, which I didn't realize, we might be the longest running sports casting team in history, me and Ben, who knows? But we're still going, and uh, we love poker. It's still fun for us to go to these final tables, you know, to see guys win and win life-changing money. It's exciting, it's fun, and you know, once again, thanks to all you guys for being in town. I'm honored to get my name on that cup. I'll be playing this event, you know, until they put the dirt on me. And I'm just honored to be here, like I'm sure all of you guys are, and you should be. Be proud. Let's support this event. They're trying to do a lot to really elevate the status of WPT champions. And I think they're doing a great job. And I think we need to do our part to support them in this venue. So thank you, Adam, for all you've done. We appreciate it. Thank you, players. I'm thrilled to be here, and you saw a couple of beats I took my previous final table, but maybe I made up for it all at Montreal. I sucked out on everybody to get down there. So. I'm not apologizing for it. I'm thrilled to get the trophy, believe me. All right, thank you all. What else we got? We're making a group photo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I promise you the eyes of the poker world are on the hard rock today. Following this tournament, every poker player in the world, whether amateur or professional, would dream about sitting in your seat and playing in this tournament today. So congratulations again for being here. We appreciate that. 
I also want to take one moment in the World Poker Tour. Allow me to say thank you to the poker media for being here today to cover this championship. And not only for being here today, for all you do for the poker industry. So thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Now it's time to get this party started. Players, best of luck in your quest to become the champion of champions. Dealers, shovel up and deal. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Day one of the Tournament of Champions has come to a close, and um, all in all, I'm really happy with the way the day went. I ended up with about 125,000 chips, I think. Uh, we started with 50,000, so that's two and a half starting stacks, which is obviously great. I think it's about average. Um, the tournament had, I think, 66 players and about 30 remain, with nine of us getting in the money. So we're about 33% to get in the money tomorrow, which is certainly great. Um, I, I did a lot of splashing around today. I really was trying to push whatever edges I thought I could find, and for the most part, it went reasonably well. There was one hand where I thought I was going to bust Anthony Zeno for sure. Um, he raised under the gun to, I think, 2.5 big blinds. I called in the small blind with Jack-10 of clubs, which, eh, you know, it's a little bit loose, but fine. I believe Anthony was about 60 big blinds deep. Uh, big blind also called. Flop came Jack-10-4, two diamonds. Okay, so I have flop two pair. I check, big blind checks. Anthony bets, I believe he bet something like 3,000 into a seven or eight thousand pot and i made it eleven thousand so a big check raise he called pretty confidently turn was an ace it's not really what i'm looking for right a lot of people well a few people i've talked to i posted this hand on share my pair and on twitter said that you know the ace is just fine because he's gonna have a lot of ace kings and ace queens while that's true i also think he'd have a lot of ace jacks and ace tens also he could have pocket aces he could also have king queen and the ace just nails those hands, right? So I'm beating aces, I'm sorry, I'm beating ace-king and ace-queen. I'm also beating kings and queens, but those aren't going to give me much more action anyway. But then everything else, I am just dead against. So I checked, and I was going to check fold if he bet, because I assumed he would check back a lot of ace-king and ace-queen on the turn, because, I mean, the same reason I don't want to put a lot of money in, he doesn't want to put a lot of money in with ace-king and ace-queen. Um, so even though the flush did not come in, the ace is a particularly bad card for me, so I was just check folding. Uh, River was another ace, so now I'm really check folding. I checked, he bet 16,000 into whatever pot it was, is, I guess. I don't know what it was. I'm sure we can figure it out. <laughs> um, he, it was a reasonably sized bet, and I just folded. So that was a tough one. I had another one fun, kind of fun one near the end of the day. A loose, aggressive kid raised from the cutoff seat. I defended the big blind with 7 6 offsuit. I think um, Eric Seidel called in the small blind as well. So three ways. It came queen, I'm sorry, jack five, two, with two diamonds. I had seven of diamonds, six of something. So Eric and I both checked to the preflop raiser in the cutoff. He bet 2,700 into a pot that was about, I want to say, 10,000 or so. I think he made it like 3,500. Yes, yeah, so I think he made it 3,500 at 600, at uh, 800, 1,600. So slightly more than a min raise. And then he bet roughly that same amount on the flop, so a really tiny flop bet. And actually, I take that back. He bet 2,700. It was even a smaller bet. It was about one-fifth pot, give or take. So that induced me to check raise. <laughs> Eric folded. I made it 10,000. He thought for a while, and then he called. And on jack-5-2 with two diamonds, obviously I'm not check raising very often, 
But I would defend stuff like Jack-5 here. I would defend 5-2 if it's suited. Um, uh, Jack-5 suited, obviously, as well. I could also have 5s and 2s. And facing that tiny flop bet, I think I should actually be check-raising a lot of, perhaps, King-Jack and better. So I could have Ace-Jack and King-Jack also. So, you know, we have some reasonable hands here. Uh, turn. Oh, also, I have the backdoor straight draw and backdoor flush draw, which is why I'm doing this with 7-6. Seven, also, seven, 7 or 6 could randomly be good. So turn, they give it to me. It's perfect. The 8 of spades. So now I have open-ended straight draw. I bet 16,000. My opponent had about 50,000 total at this point. Yeah, left in a stack. And he thought for forever and then folded. So that was another uh, little splashy one. But anyway, the day went great. My table draw tomorrow... I mean, all the tables are tough in the Tournament of Champions. I think my table's going to break first. We're down to 30 people. I guess we redraw when we get down to 24. We're playing eight-handed tables, so... I don't know how long it'll take, but there are a lot of short stacks hanging around. Average chips is about what I have, so I have about 60 big blinds going into day two. And I'm just going to continue doing my best, and hopefully all the bluffs continue getting through. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was limp shopping, Jeff. No, not you. Gosh. Well, I just busted an 11th place in the Tournament of Champions. Um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with my play. I don't think I did too much, quote-unquote, wrong. Uh, my bust-out hand, I think, was very standard. A relatively tight, aggressive guy made it 2.2 big blinds from the uh, cutoff. I called in the big blind with jack, five of clubs, out of my 23 big blind stack. Flop came jack, nine, five, two diamonds. It's pretty good for me. So you'd think. I check, he bets only one and a half big blinds, and I decided to go all in. Now, normally, I would probably raise to a smaller amount, but given we are on the bubble, or at least, you know, 11 people left when not, with nine getting paid, I think there's a lot of merit in picking up the pot immediately with my range, not necessarily my hand, with my range. And I would like to be able to shove stuff like Queen-10, all of my flush draws. Um, I'd probably shove Ace-Jack and better for made hands. And so, anyway, if I'm going to shove my draws for a big amount, I would definitely like to shove with my nuts. And Jack-5 is certainly the nuts on Jack-9-5. And my opponent instantly called, which I'm happy enough with. You know, if you tell me the guy's going to call me, I'm going to be fine with that. But he had Jack-9, so... He had to open Jack-9 in kind of a tough spot from the cutoff, which is sort of like a quadruple parlay I had to jump through. I had to, first off, he had to open kind of light. I had to defend light. I had to flop two pair. He had to flop two pair. And um, I had to play it by check shoving and not by like check raising. And maybe he calls, it turns like a queen of diamonds or something, and I get off the hook. But anyway, all in all, I'm very happy with my play. The tournament was a lot of fun. I enjoyed myself. It's always fun playing with people you know. And, you know, most of the people in the Tournament of Champions. <sighs> Tomorrow I'm going to be commentating the final table. I was hoping I would get to play at the final table, but instead I'm going to be commentating it for on the live stream. And um, it's been a reasonably good trip. We had two caches out of, I believe, four or five tournaments I played. and uh, Five or six tournaments, actually. And in the 3,500, I had a very good shot to do well, but I just lost every hand for about three hours straight. <sighs> Frustrating getting close. But, like I said, I'm happy with the way it went.